Machine control, but I'm checking here. No, nada, nothing. You let your imagination run wild. What the hell? Control, Russo's off my scope. Moving in. Nothing. Russo? It can't be. Spot. Russo. You're all mine. Can't shake him, he's got locked. Collision alert. Phil, you need help. Goodbye. Successful test. Let's go. will come to order. You'll shortly have an opportunity to voice your opinions of the recent horrific occurrences that have taken place near the border worlds. But before we do that, I thought it fit to invite the commander of the Strategic Readiness Agency to address the House, Admiral Tolan. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you, Senator. Ladies and gentlemen of the Great Confederation Assembly, as commander of the SRA, I'm charged with many duties. Foremost of these is the protection of the frontiers of our galaxy. Unfortunately, I stand before you today with very few answers. What do you mean, few The answers? random acts of violence taking place in the border world still remain a mystery. It's renegade pirates, I tell you. No, it's worse. The border world's militia is behind it. Let me remind you Murderers. that during the long war with the Kilrathi, the border worlds were a loyal ally. And now they attack us! Yeah. Let us not allow lust for revenge to cloud our thinking. We mustn't forget who our friends are. However, we must also keep in mind that during the war, certain social and political changes were taking place along the frontier. Now, whether or not these changes relate to the senseless acts of terrorism remains to be seen. But see to it, I will. I can promise you that. A 
Admiral, you are aware that the increase in these incidents has raised the tension between us and the border worlds to a dangerous level. But before this august body commits itself to a grave and irrevocable action, I have asked the Admiral to investigate and report back to us in two weeks. blessing of this assembly and of every peace-loving person in the galaxy. Oh my God. Thank you, sir. In two weeks, we shall vote on war or peace. This concludes our live coverage of Admiral Coleman's address to the Great Assembly. Barbara. Thanks, Bob. These next two weeks will tell if we have any hope of resolving the tensions that are growing at the very fringes of our society. Gotcha. Oh, give me a house kitchen. I haven't served one of those since the war ended. Hey, pal. Spare the price of a drink for an old vet? You were a flyer? Oh, yeah. I flew off the TCS Liberty. Oh. Do me a favor. Why don't you get out of here and get yourself a meal instead? Hey, thanks, pal. I'll do that. The price of freedom is eternal vigilance. Things just ain't the same since the war ended. You got a lot of guys coming home and just not enough jobs to go around. Yeah, why don't we all make our own way? You a vet? Yeah. Wait a minute. Hey, I've seen your picture before. Um, hold on. You're... Thanks for the drink. Wait, honey, what, what, honey, what? I'm not waiting. Don't call me honey. These pigs are all the same. <laughs> I guess women out here on the edge of nowhere can't appreciate a civilized man. Sure they do. When they meet one. Good to see you too, Colonel. Or, or should I say Farmer Blair? Glad you could fit me into your busy schedule. It's a peaceful life. Hmm? I've always said you're either an earthworm or an eagle. So what, you must have been flying since the last since time Since you saw got you. lucky on that bombing run on Kilra? Yeah, of course I'm still flying. What else is there? Beats tromping around in fertilizer. We know, maniac. Maybe tromping around in fertilizer is what I want to do. Maybe after putting my life on the line, day after day for all those years, hearing the crunch my feet make on real dirt is what I want. Well, it sounds like you memorized that speech. Good for you. As I ask, nothing more. Anybody gonna stop this? Not my problem. Maybe you should go over and tell him who's boss, Colonel War Hero. This is the way you treat all your friends? You just remember you're not my friend. Oh, that's obvious. You're lucky I don't kill you right now. Let him go. I don't see where this is your concern, mister. I'm prepared to make it my concern. <laughs> you're gonna wish you never met me. I already do. <laughs> Personally, I can't wait until we meet again. Of course, I would have backed you up if you tried anything. Oh, you sit. Is he gone? Come on! Come on, pal! So what was the important matter you wanted to discuss? Oh. <laughs> da, 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 Colonel Christopher Blair. 
Confederation Space Force Reserves. It's my duty to inform you, you are being recalled to active military service. <coughs> Haven't you heard, maniac? The war is over. They sent me here to get you. Who sent you? Who said that? How should I know? Somebody high up. They don't tell majors everything, you know. And you'd think with all the years I put in of service, what? I'll never understand Confed Command decisions anyway. I mean, why they put an aging earthworm back in the cockpit, why I'm not a colonel, you know, just because a guy gets lucky on one mission, happens to vanquish an enemy we've been fighting for eons. When do we leave? We... Oh, I, I arranged for a couple fighters. They're, they're waiting in the port. Let's go. Let's go. Think you can remember how to get this baby off the ground? Huh? Oh! <laughs> nice lift off. Uh, for a dinosaur. <laughs> but a few eons since you held a flight stick, huh, Colonel? O or did you find some sand princess to hold it for you back there? <laughs> you don't have to answer that. Me? Oh, yeah, I know. Uh, but you can't say you haven't missed my sparkling repartee just a little. What you see before you, Colonel Blair, is just one of what will be many victories for the border worlds. Son of a bitch! Three thousand people aboard that crate, and he just... just... Oh, oh, and if that wasn't enough, we're in the middle of nowhere flying on fumes. Wait. Nav computers picked up Blue Point Station. Oh, I'm not sure we can make it, but oh, we got no choice. Listen, downloading nav data to you. Nothing personal, Colonel, but so far, I haven't much enjoyed this reunion. Need clearance. Welcome to Blue Point, gentlemen. You have clearance. Magnificent, aren't they? I bet you wish you had one of those during the war. <laughs> Would have put the fear of God into the Kilrathi. <laughs> well, 
Carriers don't fly themselves, Admiral. Quite. Quite right, Colonel. It is the men, isn't it? Well, it looks like the uh, pastoral life agrees with you. I'm envious. <laughs> yeah, if I was a little more confident in the Confederation security, I... I'd walk away in an instant. Well, reports are that you ran into some trouble on your way here. Yes, sir. Ah, law and order. Concepts that seem to be crumbling throughout the Confederation. These are transitional times, Admiral. Yes, but in the Kilrathi, we had a common enemy. It was humanity's finest hour. Now we cast about uncertain. Well, you've seen it for yourself, the wanton destruction. That's why Confed needs your services, your experience again. You know where my loyalties have always been, sir. Something we count on, Colonel. The past months now, there's been an undeclared war waged against us. Acts of terrorism, piracy, sabotage. Is it symptomatic of these transitional times, or is there something else at work here? Do you see a strategy or design behind it? Every time I connect the dots, I'm always guided back to our longtime allies in the border worlds. And you think they've undertaken some kind of guerrilla war? Well, their relationship with Comfed has always been uneasy. The price of freedom is eternal vigilance. Which is where I come in. <laughs> well, we have a, a long history together. One that, uh, I dare say, has been a bit rocky in the past. We have had our differences, sir. Yeah. But there's no denying our achievements. Which is why I have personally reinstated you to active duty. Not only will you be my eyes and ears, but your very presence in the border worlds will send a potent message to all the galaxy. I am no politician, sir. Actions speak louder than words, Colonel. I'm not sending you there merely as a symbol. I'm putting you back in the cockpit, where you'll be reunited with an old friend. The thrill of battle. Mania. My call sign. It's how I live. It's how I fly. Because that's the name. Come on, Randy. Because that's the name of the tune, right? Hey, here. man. It's Blair. Oh my God! Colonel Blair, nice meeting you, sir. Well, thank you. Let me Colonel, take your back. Thank you, very Colonel Blair, sir. It, it's an honor, sir. Nice to meet you. All hail the mighty heart of the tiger! You know, you're not the only war hero in Confed. I've taken out more cats than most ships' entire attachments. Do I get the red carpet treatment? No, no. I carry my own duffel bag. I don't go schmoozing with the Admiral. Admiral Tolwin, Tolwin, Tolwin. Has he said anything about me? You haven't heard? He couldn't stop talking about you, Maniac. What? Well, it's classified. I mean, I could tell you, but then I'd have to kill you. <laughs> I got clearance. I got clearance. I'll tell you about it later. Wait a minute. Bet. I was hoping you'd forget, Captain. I told you you weren't through with flying. You kept telling me you were done. <laughs> I'll never say never, I guess. I gotta tell you, this ship really puts the victory to shame. Looks like Confed's been taking good care of you. Yes, they've been taking care of me. It's a different task now, but that means I still need good pilots. Captain Eisen, please report to the bridge. We're getting ready to jump to the Hellespont system. 
take care of a little trouble. If you take a good look around, you'll find it a lot different from your last tour of duty. Look what the solar winds blew in. Welcome aboard, Colonel. One card draw for the next drink. <laughs> <laughs> Better luck next time. So, you still living up to that call sign of yours? Man can do okay, as long as he doesn't stay in one place too long. Of course, I had to get greedy. Stayed in the active reserve. All those monthly credits seem like free money. Yeah. <laughs> Who would have figured they'd actually reinstate me? I got played for a sucker. I ought to know better, right? Well, I've never seen you lose a hand when it counted, Vagabond. Speaking of which, I think I owe you a drink. You know, some of these newbies rattle on about what if this happened, what if that happened. This is the brain case, I tell them. Make good use of it. Now, we're here in the Hellespont because pirates have been disrupting the trade routes in and out of the system. As yet, we don't know what their motivations are. Some of their attacks appear to be the usual attempts to confiscate supplies and weapons, yet others are simply senseless, violent acts of terrorism. Now, I want you and a wingman to escort this supply transport to the jump point, ensuring its safe passage out of the system. Then, fly to this nav point where communications array is under construction. Now, upon your arrival, you'll relieve the patrols currently providing security in the area. Understood? Yes, sir. One Captain, it's great to be flying for you again. Well, feelings mutual. Can I direct you somewhere, Lieutenant? Just shipped in, sir. Second Lieutenant Troy Carter. Call sign, Cat Scratch. Now, you didn't just graduate from the academy, did you? First in my class, sir. Ah. I just wish there was still some Kilrathi around. <laughs> I think you're a little late on that score. Hey, Colonel Blair, gotta ask you a question. Right, so? I can't believe my luck. Getting assigned to the same ship you're on? Oh, man, wait until they hear about this back home. Jeez, this kid lays it on thick, huh? Talk to you later, Colonel. Is that true, Cat Scratch? Are you doing a number on me? Oh, no, sir. I've been dreaming of a chance like this. The stuff I could learn from you, sir. The stories you must have. Oh, I've got stories, all right. The only place you learn anything is out there, in the cockpit. Colonel, sir, it would be the honor of my life to fly on your wing. Hmm. We'll see, Cat Scratch. We'll see. Yes, sir. Nay, Smith West, Colonel Blair. Ah, oh, Colonel, time to earn your pay. Yes, sir. Now, it's still not known whether these pirates are independent operators or are somehow connected to the border world's militia. Nevertheless, we're here to put them out of business. Now, thanks to your excellent recon work, we do know the pirates base out of this frigate on the edge of the Hellespont asteroid belt. The job is simple. 
you and your wingman get in a pair of bombers, fly in there, and take them out. Now, I'll assign two other fighters to provide you cover. Go to it. Right away, sir. That's where you're wrong, old buddy. Oh, well, I'm not wrong. Border world radicals. That's who's causing all this trouble. Listen to it. Maniac, the political scientist. You asked the colonel. We saw the same thing. It was a border worlder who dusted that Orlando depot. Yeah. But has it ever occurred to you, Maniac, that the border world's militia probably doesn't have the technology to do what we just saw out there? <laughs> we don't know what they've been up to since the big war. It sure ain't pirates out there carrying that kind of firepower. All I know is that the border worlds have always been Confit's stepchild. Well, they fought to kill Rathi, too, but what do they get for it? Anytime Confed needs a dumping ground for anything from toxins to uh, prisoners, the border world's the place. <laughs> they treat it more like a colony than a partner. And if they are behind this, maybe they've gotten that desperate for their freedom. just entered border world territory to tier system. Uh, important hostage has been taken on because of the current tissue. Now, that means a ground extraction. But we have to find the hostage first, determine the best method of removal, which is where you come in. Now, Intel says the target is in this base complex on Tier 7, but we need as much recon as we can get. Now, all our fighters are equipped with a new laser recon device, far as like a gun, take pictures like a camera. Get as close as you can and record as much info as possible. Now, be sure to consult your mission notes and your nav map. They'll have a few more technical details. Any resistance expected? Well... Um, my guess is they aren't going to appreciate snoops of cameras down there. Try to make it a clean operation. We're more interested in recon than kills. All set, Colonel. You bet, Captain. Nothing so interesting. <laughs> Just a trans to my grandchildren. New school year. <laughs> They're all excited. Did you want to see me about something, girl? Oh, yeah, sir. The uh, assignment we're undertaking. Yes, we're just about ready to make the extraction. It won't be easy. We'll discuss it at the briefing. Right now, I'm due to check in at the bridge. I'll see you in the briefing room. Ah, Colonel. Confed has deemed this an especially critical mission. Any particular reason? Let's get down to business, shall we, Colonel? Enemy reinforcements are headed this way, so we have to move fast. A trooper transport has just joined up with us. They'll be moving in right behind you, carrying the ground personnel who will nab the hostage. 
thanks to your recon, we know just where we're going and what we're up against. The hostage is located in this structure. Now, you'll need to cover the trooper transport's descent to that location. Then make sure it gets back here in one piece. Is that clear, Colonel? Consider it done. We have collected the package. Get us out of here, Colonel. Mission complete. Captain Hugh Paulson attached to the 3rd Fleet with orders from Regional Command. Welcome aboard, Captain. They must be important orders indeed for you to personally carry them so far. All Confederation orders are important, Captain. The Lexington is to head immediately to the Massa system where we will rendezvous with the 3rd Fleet. I'll inform my helm. You will be filling me in on Confed's orders. Oh, we have much to discuss. In private, Captain? Uh, perhaps we'd better adjourn to my cabin. Bioconvergence chemist, we sprung from tier seven. Oh, what? Bioconvergence. Try downloading a science update once in a while. Well, since when are you, Mr. Wizard? Hey, I don't just rest on my laurels like some people I know. Anyway, now I know why they were turning the border worlds upside down looking for this egghead. We are talking fine. Thought you weren't interested in any woman with an IQ higher than a wingnut. Oh, all contraire, mon frère. Eh? Didn't think I knew that stuff, right? Hey, Maniac does what he has to do. Okay, tonight, I'm boning up on my periodic table of elements, <laughs> if you know what I mean. So what, you figure her recent trauma makes her that desperate, huh? It's not unheard of to show a little appreciation to your liberator. <laughs> this guy's good, Colonel. The best. You never show any mercy, do you? You know, I seek only to instruct. The youth seeks wisdom and experience. <laughs> so what do you think about the new brass that just came aboard? Oh, uh, Paulson? Too many cooks in the kitchen. Always trouble. Yeah, things get a little top-heavy when there's too many higher-ups around. He's got a point, you know.
Will we be joined by the captain, sir? Captain Eisen has been assigned to other duties, Colonel. Orders from Confed. But he's still in command of the ship. His new obligations will not allow him to continue his previous functions. I now command this vessel. Any problems with that? Has the captain been in any way derelict? I'm not at liberty to discuss personnel decisions, Colonel. Time grows short. We have a mission ahead of us. The Border World's militia has brazenly hijacked a key military space lab in this system. You'll go in first to soften up the surrounding defenses. Marine transport from our fleet will then move in and take control of the lab. Cover that transport until you receive an all clear. It is absolutely vital that we wrest that lab back from these marauders. We can accept nothing less than total success. I'm confident you will not let the Confederation down, Colonel. Dismissed. between the frontier worlds and the Confederation. The Union of Border Worlds, as they now call themselves, indicate they remain at peace with the Confederation, but the Confed bylaws and constitution no longer govern them. In response, the Great Assembly has decreed that Border World vessels can no longer operate within Confed territory unless under military escort. We go now live to Admiral Jeffrey Tolwyn at Confed HQ. Admiral. Hello, Barbara. Good evening, everyone. Uh, for weeks now, we've been experiencing an increasing harassment of legitimate Confed space operations. I'm afraid innocent people are being murdered, and chaos is the result. Until we bring these perpetrators to justice, I'm afraid we must monitor all traffic flying under a different flag. Admiral, can the Union of Border Worlds and the Confederation come to terms? Well, Barbara, what other choice do we have? Thank you, Admiral. Thank you. Next up, the scores for the Galactic Cricket Cup. Tolwyn's right. Confed has to do whatever it takes to maintain order. Otherwise, you got everybody going off half cocked. The border worlds have been dumped on ever since the war ended. This required chaperoning is just gonna turn up the heat. They'll thank their lucky stars that ain't the Kalrathi bossing them around. Look, a lot of people think it was the border worlds who kept us in the war long enough for the colonel here to lower the boom. Your farm's in the field, real close to the border worlds. You think they should be forced to fly under escort? It's a big galaxy. People are bound to have different goals. Look, Confit had to maintain control for 40 years. They're having a hard time letting go. You seen Captain Nyson? Laying low. I don't blame him. Enter. Ah, oh, Colonel. Good to see you. <laughs> Guess now you'll have more time to answer your mail. Captain Paulson said something about new orders. I'm awaiting a transfer. That's the extent of my orders. Oh, come on, sir. Someone's going to wake up and rescind this decision. Confed's a different place today. Running a spaceship is a different job than it used to be. Who knows? Maybe they're doing me a huge favor. Now, I appreciate your concern, Colonel. Tell the crew the old man is looking forward to new challenges. Yes, sir. Shh. 
exemplary work on the space lab, Colonel. Thank you, sir. Rescuing it and the biochemist will be of tremendous benefit to Confed's plans, but not a business at hand. Predictably, the Border World's Union brazenly defies Confed's airspace edict. We approach one such outlaw convoy now. Military ships that have invaded Confed's territory and maneuver with no Confed escort. They have ignored orders to turn back and have even taken pot shots at Confed's forces. They are a grave threat and their presence can no longer be tolerated. We shall issue one more warning. If they refuse to cooperate, you are to enforce the interdiction, Colonel, by any means necessary. Dismissed. Can I ask you something, Colonel? What's up, Parker? Attacking that convoy? Is... Is this the way wars start? Let me tell you something, Cat Scratch. Wars are like bombs. The fuse gets lit before you actually hear the bang, and sometimes the fuse can be pretty long. Did you know I was from the border world, sir? I figured you were Terran-born, if anything. Terran-educated. But my parents were third-generation border worlders. I guess I'm just having some problems with these missions, sir. On whether they're right. Yeah. Can't say I like being kept in the dark, either. It's hard to make a decision when you don't have all the data. Oh, Captain Paulson's not gonna help. Maybe Eisen's holding down on me. You know? I think I'm going to talk to him again. shipping out soon. I just wanted to make sure that no big deal was made of it. Yes, sir. Lately, some of the men haven't been so sure about the missions they've been flying for Confed. Oh? Well, during the war with the Karate, it was easy. Loyalty to Confed required little commitment. After all, what was the alternative? Now the war is over, second-guessing is easy. I never thought I'd see the day when I'd be shooting down my own kind. Humans will always vie for power, Colonel. The Confederation may be far less than perfect, but remember, it was the driving force behind our victory. It succeeded in uniting humanity in a way that no other institution had. It's our ultimate duty, isn't it? Yes. The difficulty is how best to execute it. Well... Colonel, I sincerely wish you a long and happy life. It has been an honor and a pleasure serving with you. Thank you, sir. Maniac. Hi. Well, same to you, buddy. I said, some of these guys, not exactly friendly. Yeah, forget it. Hey, how about that bioconvergence chemist? Was she friendly or uh, friendly fire? <laughs> well, um... Attention. All personnel without level 5 security clearance, leave the flight deck immediately. There will be no unauthorized access Pretty soon we're gonna need a hall pass just to use the head. Wonder who's coming aboard. Beats me. Well, it's 
I'm not feeling very welcome around here, I'm gonna go get myself a libation up at the lounge. Coming? I'll stick around. <laughs> Paulson doesn't look like he gives guys much slack. I'll be sure to visit you in the brig. Well, you never know. You know, I might get lucky. They might send another biochemist my way. <sighs> Suit yourself. situation. Captain Eisen has stolen the shuttle and fled the Lexington. There has to be some explanation. We have reason to believe he's been feeding information to Border World's intelligence these past weeks. That's why he was relieved of command. But we had hoped to bring him in quietly and simply pull the plug on his indiscretions. My guess is he knew we were on to him. Is Captain Eisen piloting the shuttle? Unfortunately, the captain seems to have enlisted the aid of Major Todd Marshall. <laughs> Maniac? Gentlemen, I know this is difficult since you are old comrades, but this is a deadly breach of security. If the current tensions erupt into war, the information Captain Eisen might have could do us serious damage. The Confederation has never needed you more. Do we have a heading? Unfortunately, his destination is still undetermined. These are your wingmen. Your ships have been trapped and ordinance has already been committed. You must bring William Eisen back. Sir, if Captain Eisen's already taken these steps, I doubt he'll come back willingly. Use any means necessary, Colonel. Captain Eisen must not be allowed to leave this system. He must not be allowed to rendezvous with border world forces. Dismissed. Right there. 
We weren't gonna wait on that jump. It's like you guys ran into some trouble. Uh. We had a surprise visit from a convict frigate and her escorts. This is Colonel Jacob Manley. I'm Colonel Tamara Farnsworth. I recognize those names as Panther and Hawk. The Astoria sister. That's right. You know the famous Heart of the Tiger. Look, I'd love to stand here and play get to know you, but just stay right there. We got some problems to take care of. Okay, if you can direct us to Captain Dominguez, he's expecting me. Captain Dominguez was on the bridge during the attack. He didn't make it. Anybody on the bridge or in the base didn't survive. Two thirds of the crew. Captain Dominguez did brief us on your possible defection. Your deal was with him, though. You gotta talk things over with the crew before you guys get too cozy, understood? Uh, we'll finish this later. Come on, we could use some extra hands. I fought with Captain Dominguez 40 years ago during the Venice offensive. Now he's dead at the hands of one of his own? What, what is all of this coming to? I was hoping you'd be able to tell me. I've turned my back on Confed. How about it? Halsam said you were... you were a spy. <laughs> a detective, maybe. They were feeding us a lot of bogus information. The last couple of days, I've been checking out mission data, uh, coded transmissions, uh, fleet movements. I've got all the information right here. This could stop a full-blown war. But you don't know what it means? Well, some of the pieces are missing, but what I do know is this. This clash between the border world and Confed is being provoked by certain elements within Confed. Why didn't you tell me? Because I have no idea who they are. All I knew was that my defection could end up being suicidal. I couldn't ask you to put yourself in that position. You had to decide that for yourself when the time came. I made my choice, sir. I have no regrets. Well, Colonel, I hope you never do. I'm gonna get up top, see if we need any help. Yeah, I'll lend out a hand down here. Pull up a chair. I think I already have, Lieutenant Sosa. Oh, sorry, sir. What you got there? Uh, well, look at me. I'm I'm stuck in the Stone Age. I mean, so much of our equipment is down. I've got to resort to prehistoric tools in order to decrypt this info Captain Eisen brought with them. So, you have a talent for decoding. Well, um, yeah, sir. I mean, I, I don't mean to brag, but I'm definitely one of the best. Wow. Anything there? Plenty. It's just going to take me some time. One thing's for sure. Confed definitely has a lot of skeletons in its lockers. when I go, I'll be in a cockpit. Come on, cheer up. I still say it'll be friendly fire that gets you. I don't know. The side we picked to be on has a long, hard road ahead. Will you look on the bright side? At least now you won't have to deal with that Confed promotion that finally came through. My promotion gave my promotion? Confed, I, that's not right. I say we just cut our losses and pull back. The jump point is the quickest way out of the system. It's way too obvious. I say we stay and hurt the Lexington as much as possible. That way we'll be hurting Confed, too. How long have they been carrying on like this? It doesn't make any sense. If there's something you don't understand, it's typical. You're both right and you're both wrong. Attacking the Lexington is a waste of valuable resources. Beating a hasty retreat is a wiser course of action. 
The jump point is the most obvious exit route. The Salinas Nebulas might be a better way out. Either way, I don't think the Lexington is going to just let us cruise away. I'll bet you'll get a chance to inflict damage on her or sustain more yourself. What do you think, Colonel? I think this ship needs a captain. Yeah, that'll work fine. Well, if it ain't the new Confed Flyboy. Fighting on our side, huh? Yeah. Name's Blair. Well, hooray. Guess that means we're gonna win this thing after all, right? <laughs> Welcome aboard, kid. Chief Tech Robert Sykes. <laughs> you can call me Flyers. Thanks, Flyers. <laughs> I haven't seen one of those birds in quite a while. Not up close, anyway. Yeah, I bet you worked on plenty of them. Oh, yeah. Used to pull kill Raffy whiskers out of the intakes for kids like you. <laughs> yeah, I could do a few things with that baby. Hey, don't let these gray hairs fool you, kid. I can still perform miracles with nothing more than a socket driver and a pile of junk parts. Looks to me like you kind of have to. Yeah. Plus, I could tweak those birds way beyond the specs those egghead engineers come up with. Well, great. I can use all the help I can get out there. Well, just wait and see what I can do, kid. Trust me. Happy to see you back where you belong, Captain. Thank you, Colonel. You had no small part in it. Well, to business. As you know, to avoid further harassment, the Intrepid's going to try and make its way out of this system through this nebula, I'd like you and a wingman to scout ahead, clear the area of any hostiles you might encounter. Understood, sir. Good luck, Colonel. Nice. Very nice. Gentlemen, welcome to our new sleeping quarters. I never promised first-class accommodations. Don't take offense, sir, but how can you make jokes? An hour ago, I was a conflict pilot. Now I'm shooting them down. What's going on? What are we doing here? We're trying to make things right. I don't know what the rules are anymore. You know, Cat Scratch, life isn't a flight sim. I think you're gonna learn the rules keep changing. Just hope we did the right thing, partner. If Confed gets approved to really go after the border worlds, this thing's gonna get ugly. It's putting it mildly. Sometimes what you believe is more important than any flag. We gotta stick with the guys we can trust. And Eisen, he's one of the few. Maybe you're right. Hey, you know those Confed fighters you boys flew in on? Well, they made for a mighty fine meal. Meaning? I just got done stripping them down for parts. <sighs> well, I hope you put the pieces to good use, pliers. You can bet on it, kid. <laughs> Lexington clearly has a good idea of our whereabouts, and we're like a bee buzzing around inside of a jar. I wouldn't be surprised if Paulson is steering for us right now. So I think you should take one of the adventures up on this mission. Now, our only hope of escape lies in this backdoor jump point. I want you to take three wingmen and escort us the hell out of here.
God, what a disaster. Stop whining. Your first mistake was in not killing him right away. Who, Eisen or the Colonel? Take your pick. What's going to happen now? It's a good question, Captain. First of all, you're going to get reassigned. And I'm going to continue my plans. With the added pleasure of killing the heart of the tiger. <laughs> what are you looking at, soldier? Just fly the vehicle. Ah, you see, sir, there it is right there. Yes, Lieutenant S. What do you see? There are holes in the data I confiscated from the Lexington. We've got no confed transmission data for a specific 18-hour period. Before and after that time period, confed undertook operations which seemed to relate to the chemists in the lab we confiscated. But without that comm data, we can't make a firm connection. We're missing carrier group trackings, fleet movements, assignment logs. More pieces of the puzzle. Oh, I've got it. There's a confed comm station right here in Orestes, orbiting the system's outermost planet. Oh, sure. Most of confed's comm traffic must relay through there. Helm, set nav coordinates for Orestes 9. Aye, aye, sir. We're going on a scavenger hunt. Sir. You look lost in your thoughts. It's never gonna end, is it? What? I spent seven years fighting the Karathi. And then I thought it was over and humanity was united, right? Now I'm taking aim on people who used to be my allies? Come on, Colonel. We're just pilots. We don't get to choose the enemy. How'd you become a flyer? I ran away from home when I was still a teenager. Fell in with some privateers. Thought the only good thing to come of that was learning to fly. Signed on with Confed when the Clarathi moved in on my home system. How about you? Yeah, I um, thought I could stay away, but this is all I know how to do. We are smart people. We should be able to think of something better to do than all this killing. There's time. This isn't going to last forever. So you believe that the good will win? I have to. I'm afraid we have to postpone our plans for a comm station at Arrestus 9. We just received a distress signal from a border world's convoy. It appears that they ran afoul of Confed's interdiction edict. And it now appears that Confed has entered into the border worlds to pursue them with a frigate and a destroyer. Proceed with all due haste, Colonel. That convoy needs our help. Right away, sir. Watch it. All right, Greg. Your bet? All of it. <laughs> it goes for all. All right. I'll call you. What have you got? Full house. Aces and eights. I got four queens. Four queens! <laughs> it's mine. <laughs> On toast, buddy. Woo! Yes! Tell me this is a joke, Vagabond. Great not, partner. He's not invincible to the maniac moves. <laughs> Nobody is. My ship has come in. Lady Luck is my bride. The lucky girl. Maybe I should have been flying for the border worlds all along. This can't be happening. You never lose. Okay, who's next? Oh, come on! What? What 
What is this? One of our MIPS. MIPS? Manned insertion pod. Little gimmick I stole about a year ago from some confed testing site when no one was looking. <laughs> Never heard of it. Of course not. It takes them guys forever to release new technology. But with all their red tape about safety and such. Definitely not the claustrophobic types. No, oh, it's a snug fit. But it's just a thing for squeezing folks into a spot where a shuttle might be too big or attract too much attention. See that? Latches right onto the target. Then laser cuts a hole so the guy inside can crawl right through. Lock and launch procedure? Just like firing an IMREC. Of course, the fellow in there has got to release the safety first. And he's pretty much on his own with minimal steerage. Minimal? Enough to dock at the target, and then fly back out to where you can tractor him in. And it gets pulled right back to one of your hard points. They can fire it again if you need to. Let me show you something else. You know how the Kilrathi always had us beat on Culkin, right? And along came the Excalibur. Of course, I never got my hands on one of those. But I've been putting two and two together in my leisure time, and I came up with this little thing. Now, I won't give you a complete cloak. But it should be pretty effective in hiding you from the radar. Any downside? Well, nothing's perfect, right? Number one, it runs on a very rare crystal. It's got a short half-life. So it, uh, it could burn up pretty quick. That means you might come uncloaked at, shall we say, a potentially inconvenient time. Number two? Uh, number two. I only got one of them. And a wingman who ain't cloaked won't do you much good. So if you want to use it, you gotta fly solo. Get her ready, pliers. Might come in handy. You got it, kid. I don't mind telling you, Colonel, we're so close to that missing data, I can taste it. I'm ready to go, sir. Border World's command is sending us a detachment of Marines, but they won't arrive here for another 16 hours. I don't think we can afford to wait. We're pushing our luck as it is. Now, the target is this orbiting comm station, which is surrounded by these turret mines. Now, here's our problem. A radar buoy, which will undoubtedly ring alarm bells across the system if you don't take it out fast enough now. I hope you talk to Pliers about his cloaking device. Because if you slip past those turns, we can quickly take that boy out and make our delivery. Delivery? Well, as you know, Vagabond's had some espionage experience. He and Lieutenant Socha here have volunteered to go in. We'll use the insertion pods to get them in. Approach the comm station, fire them off. They'll dock, get the data, and then you pull them out. Because of the clandestine nature of this mission, you'll have to fly solo, understood? Completely, Captain. I hope so, Colonel. Because without that missing data, we have nothing. Good luck, Colonel. Partner, you tell us there's only a few contacts in here. They'll be hiding in the desk when they see our guns. Complicated. Our intelligence was kind of off. Come on. They're in here. We're going into some well armed guards. Stay low. 
Vagabond's dead, sir, but I'm launching. Come get me quick. Mission complete. Need clearance. You're clear, kid. Bring her in. We're here to say goodbye to Lieutenant Winston Chang. This was a man who flew with his heart, as well as his mind. You know, I consider myself lucky to have flown with him. And even luckier to have been his friend. Vagabond, may your spirit continue to roam the stars. presence for the christening of the Vesuvius will be a great inspiration to her crew, Senator. Ah, she's a bonny ship. Tell me, is there news? Have there been more skirmishes in the border worlds? News of the worst kind, I'm afraid. Betrayal. It appears that our great hero of the Kilrathi War has defected to the Union of Border Worlds. Blair? Defected? Oh, I find that hard to believe. He was always a hothead, but... What on earth induced him to... What the devil is going on out there? The intelligence I've collected is erratic, um, unreliable. Things fall apart. The center cannot hold. Mere anarchy is loosed upon the world. The best lack all conviction. Whilst the worst possess a passionate intensity, Yates. And you have no idea who is behind all this? Well, one thing is clear, Senator. The Border World's militia grows increasingly more aggressive. A grave mistake. I never knew Blair to be rash. Betrayal is always a mystery. Well, we are running out of time, Admiral. A declaration of war against the Border Worlds has been laid before the Assembly. The vote will be in seven days. The outcome of that vote will largely be determined by your report. Let's hope that war is not our only option. Amen. Is it what you want? Well, I didn't have time to cross-scan it while downloading. A lot of the pieces have fallen into place, but nothing that links Confed to any specific incident. I mean, there is some unusual movement in Confed resources and coded transmissions, but they're going to take me a little time to decrypt. Then there's the normal Confed traffic. So it could look like business as usual. Well, we don't have time to second-guess. If the Assembly votes for war... Then a lot more pilots like Vagabond are going to die. Learn how to make a decent cup of coffee on this tub yet? It was just a few hands. The aces just kept coming my way. You know, he was dealing most of the time. Maniac. 
You're an idiot. I know. Maybe if I hadn't gloated so much, you know, shoved in his face like that. That's not what I'm saying. You think that Vagabond lost the will to live because you beat him at cards. I never beat him before. SOS, Colonel, from a convoy broadcasting any border world's craft in the vicinity. Now, I don't know what you're going to run into when you get out there, so stay alert. Now, the convoy appears to be moving around, probably trying to get away from whatever is causing it grief. But they were last sighted here at these coordinates. Bring that convoy back to our location, Colonel. Yes, sir. need for an introduction. Greetings, Colonel. Never did I expect our paths to cross again. Small universe. My only regret is the circumstances that now bring us together. Since my personal surrender to you, Vano, we can rather have tried to coexist peacefully with Terrans. Melek and his convoy are seeking safe passage back to their new homeland in Pasqual. We have been harassed by unknown forces for the past 48 hours. He brought us a copy of his ship's DR logs. Either. I could do a lookup in Confed Registry. That wouldn't do any good, Lieutenant. When Confed Intel wants you blanked, you're gone forever. I heard some weird talk about him. A GE program, but never found out what it was. I'd just love to get that son of a bitch in my sights. No offense, Colonel, but uh, I wouldn't want to tangle with that guy. If he was that good then. Malik, I'd like to keep this recording. Uh, this, combined with the information that we've collected and decoded, will have to be enough. We've got less than a week before the assembly votes. Colonel, I want you to meet me back here in 10. It's time we made our move. I never would have believed it. All those years, all those missions. I devoted my life to knocking Karathi out of the sky. And now you're helping them get home. Don't take this the wrong way, sir. When I was growing up, I dreamt of nothing but fighting the Karathi. Now... You think Captain Eisen's making the right call here, sir? Can't scratch. What separates a true warrior from a killer is that the warrior only fights when provoked. And what makes a warrior human is that he helps those in need, regardless of who or what they are. jumping to Pasquale soon. You should be safe there. As you know, Colonel, we Kilrathi dismantled all of our warships under the terms of our treaty with the Confederation. Thus, we have no means of defending ourselves. We'll get you home, Malik. But why is a new war waged upon us? My race no longer presents a threat. What happened to the Terran concept of... Absolution. St 
still alive. Most of us. Forgive me, Colonel. I am railing at the man who I should be thanking. I wish I could properly express my gratitude for your assistance here. Consider it payback. What is this word? Payback? Well, you may recall that a few years ago you had the chance to kill me and didn't. Mm -hmm. It's a decision I do not regret. Me either. Oh, there is one thing that you might be able to help us out on. Those two ships that attacked us, they came at us cloaked. Yes. Well, you kill Rathi always had a speed when it came to cloaking. So, if there's anyone with experience in your convoy, I got a chief mechanic that would love some advice. You're suggesting high-tech payback? Consider it done. Thanks, Malik. Well, see, so you finally took my advice about finding some place to get some rest. Yeah, it's the Ritz. Well. I'm not going to put myself out too much on this Kilrothy foreign aid, that's for sure. What a waste. I fought those animals in the war. We'd all be a lot better off if their old kind was obliterated. Look, right now the Kilrathi have the same enemy we do. Every time we want to fight for them, it's another battle won for the border worlds. Well, you just tell me where to shoot. And I'll pull the trigger. Thanks, Hawk. I knew I could count on you. Yeah. Major! Sir! Thank you. This is it, Colonel. I'm shipping out. Personal delivery? I think it's best that way. I haven't been in this man's navy all these years without developing a few contacts in high places. When the boys are confed, see what I've got, they'll realize they have a few rats in the house. Can you trust him? What choice do I have? They have influence at the assembly, and they're the only way of uh, stopping the declaration of war. Captain, transcom coming in, sir. Ah, Vice Admiral Wilder. You know who this is. He'll be the Intrepid's acting captain in my absence. How do you do, Colonel? I must say, I've always wanted to meet you. Colonel, you all right? Oh, yes, I'm fine, Admiral. Wilfred, uh, weren't you with Confed, sir? Forty years of service. Came out to the border worlds to retire. But they convinced me to uh, come back to work. Oh, I know the feeling, sir. You'll be consulting with Admiral Wilfred on mission assignment. He's constantly on the move. We're lucky to have him in our system. By the way, Admiral, what happened to that squad of Marines you were sending? Sidetrack. Operation in the Lennox system. You know how thin our resources are. They'll be there within the hour. Looking forward to working with you, Colonel. The Admiral's not much on goodbyes. Time I said mine. Talk to you later. Who did that?
Everybody here? Let's get to it. I want to start off by saying I'm going to do my best at running things in Captain Eisen's absence. Any of you have any questions or suggestions, I want you to come to me. We'll talk. Don't bitch and moan behind my back, but just remember, I have been given the job of making final decisions. Is that understood? Yes, sir. Certainly. All right, let's get to it then. Got to move fast on this one, people. We've just entered the Pasquale system. And Melek's sources report that one of the Kilrathi planets, Pasquale 10, is under attack. Fighters with border worlds insignia. Of course, we all know that they are not being flown by Border Worlds pilots. Now, my guess is like everything else we've run into, it's the renegade faction of Confed behind this. Now, the hot spots are in these three nav points. I'll be taking two wingmen up. We're going to clear them out. Now, remember, they're in ships that look just like ours, so be alert. We don't want any friendly fire casualties here. Well, that's it then. Dismissed. been thinking about what you said, sir. Well, surprised you found the time. No, honest. You were right. Helping the Karathi is the right thing to do, sir. I, I helped straighten him out, too. I'm sure you did. Oh, by the way, Colonel, have you checked out our new house guest down in the hall? I guess I better check into that. Carry on. Reporting for duty. For Colonel Blair. Another cat killer. Hey, look, you people were supposed to be here hours ago. <laughs> well, things got a little hairy in Lennox. Speaking of which, I hear you're trying to bring home a few cats. You got a problem with that? You're looking at a veteran, Repleta, and a man who escaped the Kilrathi POW camp. It took a lot of years out of my life. That war's over, ain't it? Yeah. It looks like we got another on our hands. Well, as ordered, experts at hand-to-hand -hand combat. They don't look like much, but they get the job done. Come on, on your feet, let's go. Get up, come on. Ready to go to work. Good. Get him prepped for a mission. We're gonna see some action. All right. Go. Approaching Melek's home, which is a Kilrathi starbase. What's their status? My attempts at raising the station have been met with complete silence. No response on any channel, sir. In other words, we don't know who or what's down there. Now, our marine contingent has finally arrived, so here's what we're going to do. I'm going to take two wingmen up, sweep the area for hostiles. The star base is located at the second nav point. As soon as we've secured the area, we'll signal for Lieutenant Colonel Decker and his men to shuttle out and gain control of the base while we provide cover. They're prepping right now. A Melek's going to follow in one of his own shuttles, and once he's delivered, we'll escort the Marines back to the Intrepid, which will be at a new location near the jump point leading out of the system. Now, keep in mind, there may be more Border World ships out there piloted by the enemy. Everybody got that? Dismissed. where we say goodbye, Malik. 
My Rai will be most interested in this new picture I will offer of the heart of the tiger. Back in his lair, boss. We're heading out. You have my eternal gratitude, heart of the tiger. Mission complete. I need clearance to land. Ah, great work, Colonel. You're cleared. 